Hello and welcome to The Humble Seer. So I want to do a reading on Tyler Perry and his significant other. I don't know uh, anything about Ty Tyler Perry really, but I hear what I'm hearing is he is a good person. He's a good man. And um, he has worked hard for what he has. But, but it's not, all of it is not for free. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. So, like, in other words, in every good story, there's something kind of sinister. But it doesn't change the man. It doesn't mean that the man... So, sometimes people do things or they involve themselves in things so that the, they can do the you know, the greater good can come out. And I feel that that is the case for Tyler Perry. Now, as it relates to relationships, I just hear quiet. And whenever I hear quiet, that's a couple of things, right? It means that, well, there isn't anything going on or it's a facade. And I feel like in his life, it is. Relationships are a facade for many reasons. But Tyler is a busy person. He's a busy man. But, you know, like the saying goes, you're never too busy for love, right? Well, some people have just been burned a lot. All right, so... I'm I'm feeling conflicted because I just want to, you know, I, I don't feel like there's a whole lot. But let's let's go ahead and let's let's just see uh, if he's not in a relationship. Let's just talk about the relationships that he has been in. Maybe his latest. Okay. So what was the overall relationship? Okay. So we have five of wands, and five of wands is well. It's about challenges. And I feel that in relationships, he is, well, for lack of a better word, challenged. Awkward. Uncomfortable. Unwilling. Relationships are not comfortable for him. They have never been comfortable for him and they never will be comfortable for him. No matter what. They just are not. If you were to bring up relationships. If you even dare. Because I feel like people can't even. Aren't even really. It's a restriction. Like you can't even bring it up. And if he's being interviewed. You know like say he's on entertainment tonight. Or something like that. And they try to get into his relationship life. He's not going to say anything. Or they won't even ask. Because they know that it's uncomfortable. It just like. It's like it's non-existent. But it's like a secret too I'm hearing. It's very secretive as well. Okay so. So how does. I mean if he's not. <laughs> Alright so how does he view relationships with his, you know, significant other. I'm trying to think if that's even how I want to phrase it because I don't, I mean, <sighs> um, how does he view his significant other. We'll just go with how we've always gone, right? How does he view relationship with his significant other? How does Tyra Perry view them? Okay. That's enough because, I mean, all right. Page of Wands, enthusiastic. Now, I'm not even really going to go into what this card represents because, you know, I don't always do that, 
right? I just pull the cards and whatever I feel compelled to say. So see how this person has their hand over their mouth? Well, they're keeping a secret. They're keeping a secret that they must keep. Anytime he ventures into these relationships that we hear about, that we see in the public eye, there is an element of secrecy. And that person must abide. It's very strict. He is not playing around. All right. How does his uh, how does his significant other view him? I'm struggling with this, as you can tell, because yeah. Well, his significant other views him as the Page of Pentacles, and that is someone who's thrifty, lack of money. Now. These people don't have, he doesn't have a lack of money. It's just that they're not getting it. So they go into this with no chemistry at all with him. None. Okay. And if they're ever, if this, if he's ever on a red carpet with this person or whatever, there won't be chemistry. It's non-existent. But they walk into it thinking because there's a huge pinnacle and they've got their eye on it, which is him and his money. But what they fail to realize is that that's not what this arrangement is about. You're not getting the money. So they view him as thrifty and, you know, cheap or stingy. But as it relates to these relationships that he involves himself in or these um, business type of deals, you know, there's, I mean, they get something, but it is nowhere near, like say a person is worth, $500 million. So you walk into that and you're like, oh, especially if this is some kind of contract that you have to do this for publicity purposes. Oh, um, this person's worth 500 million. So I know that this is contractual, but I know I'm going to get a house. Well, you're not going to get a, a, a $8 million home. You might get a $300,000 condo. Okay. All right. Is there anything else that you can tell us about these relationships. But I'm hearing that uh, Tyler is just a very smart guy, very intelligent guy, and a very capable guy. But he doesn't always get to do what he wants in his creative pursuits. There's still like a ball and chain I'm hearing. Okay, is there anything else? Okay, so we have King of Wands. And the King of Wands is, well, they're innovative. They have business. They are authority. And so this, to me, just talks about his, his business, and he's thriving, and he's doing well. And he is, you know, calling the shots while they're out there producing for the most part, right? He's calling the shots. And um, he'll continue to thrive and do what he loves. Because at the end of the day, he loves production and movies and creating and artistry. He loves that. He lives for, he breathes, eats, drinks, sleeps. You know, everything revolves around it. And so he's in a good place. Even though he, he's not always able to do everything he wants, he does have, you know, the, the, the leash isn't so tight that he can't move around. No, he can still create a lot of what he enjoys. So there you have it. I really appreciate you stopping by. And um, if you are enjoying my videos, please consider uh, donating. I have a description in the link below. And there are links in the YouTube banner. So until next time, you take good care and we'll talk again soon. Bye.